So, you got yourself a Necreal task, and you're wondering what's the best way to kill these. I'll quickly show you in this guide. I'll only be going over the bursting method, which is by far the best way to kill these, but just so you know, you can also simply kill these with melee or ranged, in which case I'd suggest you to kill them in the Slayer Tower and you'll be fine. To start bursting Necreals, you'll need at least level 80 Slayer, have 70 magic for Ice Burst, have completed Desert Treasure, and you'll also need to have a minimum of 43 prayers so you can use Protect from Melee. For the gear, the only two stats that matter are Magic Damage Bonus and Prayer Bonus. It's pointless to wear Arams or Mystics or whatever. The damage boosting gear pieces I'm using are the Imbued God Cape and an Occult Necklace. If you are going to do this off task, or you don't care about extending your task, you can swap out the Bracelet of Slaughter for a Tormented Bracelet for some extra magic damage bonus. For prayer boosting gear I wear some Proslight Armor, my Blessing, a Book of Darkness, an Explorer's Ring and a pair of Devout Boots. Don't forget your Imbued Slayer Helmet if you're going to kill these on task. For the weapon, you'll want to wield something that can auto-cast Ancients, like the Ancient Staff, a Master Wand or a Kodai Wand. The Explorer's Ring is very useful, so you can elk some of the drops, saving you a few trips to the bank. In the inventory, I bring a couple of extra bracelets, about 5 prayer potions, some cheap darts, runes to cast Ice Burst or Barrage, and my Teleport Out. I also bring a Din's Bulwark and some Chaos Runes, so I can cast Blood Rush and Barrage, but these are not mandatory. You can also opt to bring an Ash Sanctifier with you, which will automatically offer the Ashes for some bonus prayer XP. We'll be killing the Greater Necreals in the Catacombs of Kurend. Teleport there with a Kurend Teleport or with your Xerix Talisman. Once inside, run a bit north and then east and you'll find two rooms of Necreals. You'll want to aggro all the Necreals in the room. You can do this by either standing in the center of the room and using a Bulwark Special Attack, or just equip your darts and attack them one by one. Once you've got them all aggro to you, go to one of these corners and run back and forth to stack them all on top of each other. Then go to town with your ancient magics and kill them all. I personally just keep the slaughter bracelets on the entire time, but technically you could switch to a tormented bracelet until the necreals are about to die. If you get chipped down by the death spawns, Cast Bloodburst or Barrage on the stack of Necreals and you'll probably regain all of your missing HP. Now, you can either do this over and over again, aggro them all, clump them together and kill them all, but because they don't all die at the same time, I prefer to just keep barraging and when one respawns I'll hit him with a Blood Rush to aggro them and get them back into the pile. This way I don't waste so many costs of Ice Barrage on a single surviving Necreal. Now, if a lot of them happen to die at the same time, I will still pull out my darts to quickly aggro them all and stack them back up. I pick up and elk the most valuable drops like rune items and mystical staves, and I bank once in a while, but there's usually still a lot of crap I leave on the floor. If you have an alt account, it's a good idea to place it here to pick up those drops, so you can bring a full inventory of prayer potions and you don't need to bank once during the task. Now, you want to be careful when a Necriarch spawns. If this guy hits you in melee range, he has a chance to summon some death spawns that will absolutely fuck you up. The best way to deal with this guy is to freeze him, get him stuck behind a wall or another necreal and safe spot him. If he does manage to get to you and summons his spawns, just run a screen away and back and they'll be unaggressive to you as long as you don't attack them again. Now for the rewards, we got a total of about 1.9 mil worth of loot in one task, but of course we didn't pick everything up. This is what I actually brought home, I alked most of the stuff with my explorer's ring for a total value of around 1.2 mil. In total I spent about 1 mil on 800 costs of ice barrage and some prayer pots, so we actually made a little bit of money which is insane considering the XP rates. Slayer XP was averaging 69k XP per hour for as long as I was paying attention. Nice. And this task gave me 73k Slayer XP in total. You can also expect to get around 200k magic XP and about 10k prayer XP per hour if you are using the Ash Sanctifier. This task is absolutely amazing. Great XP with profit, double thumbs up. Thanks for watching the guide and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!